When you think of World War III, do you think of the Bahamas? Well, I do. Now let's talk about that. <laughs> In 1980, a patrol boat known as the HMBS, or Her Majesty's Bohemian Ship Flamingo, set, set off from a naval base in the Bahamas to do an inspection of Bohemian territorial waters. The country was relatively new at the time, and the Navy inexperienced. On Thursday, the HMBS Flamingo found two fishing boats near, near Santo Domingo Cay. If you look at Santo Domingo K from a satellite image, you'll realize it's incredibly close to Cuba. Immediately, the fishing vessels were deemed Cuban. Not long after, however, things took a turn for the worst. The crew of the two fishing vessels decided to head south toward Cuba. However, the HMBS Flamingo stopped, stopped them and tried to inspect them to see if they were actually fishing in Bohemian territorial waters or if they had just gone off, off course. The fishing vessels were taken into tow, however, Cuban military MiG fighter jets buzzed over the ship, let it, letting it know what, they, what their intentions were with severe machine gun bum, bumbling. The crew of the ship were called to battle stations, and, and only 10 minutes after the, the jets arrived, four missiles were fired at the ship. The first one causing the stern to, to be on fire, the second one the bow, and then finally the two others were fired at the same time and caused the ship to explode, ejecting most of the crew from the ship. As the flamingo went down, thankfully a lifeboat detached from the ship and 14 crew were able to get into there. However, in the darkness of night, four people either were, were killed by the explosion, trapped inside the ship, or ejected and could not find their way to the life raft. Another Bohemian patrol ship picked up the distress, the distress call from the Flamingo and, and eventually arrived there on the scene once the fighters had, had, had escaped. Under the cover of darkness, they made their way to Ragged Island and 14 out of the 18 crew members died. Ceremonies today are still held for those who died, and months after the disaster, the survivors reported still picking out pieces of metal from their skin. This resulted in a diplomatic disaster because at first the Bohemian government didn't know about it, but once the word got out, they were infuriated. The Bohemian government tried to force the Cubans to apologize, however they said no. Haiti and the Dominican Republic became involved, but Haiti, seen as though it had little to no military, decided just to be neutral in the matter. However, the Dominican Republic st strongly supported the Bahamas. And even though they could potentially be taken over very quickly by a Cuban invasion at the time, Jamaica also backed the Bahamas with their small military. Eventually, the U.S. even got involved, and and when World War III was about to start, with with Cubans to, trying to declare war on the Bahamas, the U.S. sent a fleet of ships down to Florida and basically told everyone not to do anything stupid, and so they decided just to ignore it. But not until it escalated so much that Cuban fighters actually began bombing key airstrips near Santo Domingo, but that's a whole other story. In fact, the DR just decided to ignore it, even though all those who died in the air raids are considered national heroes till this day. Eventually, though, Castro caught a case of death, and then his son became the leader of Cuba. And now, every year, the Cubans apologize to the Bohemians for the incident. Despite the fact that we know roughly where the where the HMBS Flamingo is from the distress call, we don't exactly know the exact location until this day, although expeditions have been conducted, no one's ever found the wreck. According to the Royal Bahamas Defense Force, because the nation beat out Cuba in terms of military might two years later, and actually still is the strongest military in the Caribbean, it helped Bohemians grasp, grasp the idea of sovereignty and brought the first instance of patriotism to the Bohemian flag. So, how strong will the Bahamas get in the future? Is it too late now for the Cubans to say sorry? And will we ever find the wreck of the HMBS Flamingo? That's a very good question. <laughs>